The story supposedly happens between a father and his young son who often loses his temper and shows a tantrum like many of us used to do, right? So father, in order to teach him a lesson, decided to ask him that every time you lose your temper, please nail a nail in the fence outside our house. First day, there were 37 nails in that fence. But slowly, day after day, the number of nails would go down and down as the young boy was learning how to control his words and his actions, as he was learning how to be less hurtful toward his sister, toward his mother, toward his friends. Finally, after several weeks, a dame arrived when at the evening he could boast to his father, Daddy, today I didn't put a single nail in the fence. What an achievement. A full day without losing one's temper, without saying or doing anything hurtful toward others. But then came the second stage of his homework. Every day that would go on without losing his temper, the young boy was supposed to remove one nail from that fence. So days went on, weeks and months. Eventually, after a year or so, the fence was free of all the nails. Not a single nail remained in that fence. The most important lesson came at that time. Father took his son to the fence and asked him what did he learn from this experience. Son, beaming with pride, said that I know how to control my temper, that I can be a good boy, that I don't have to say hurtful things to my sister, to my mother, to you, that I can be a good son, a good brother, a good friend. Yes, answered father, this is a very important lesson. But look at this fence. What do you see in front of you? I see our fence, daddy. Is it the same fence that was here last year? It's a little different. How so? It's full of holes. It's full of bruises. It looks like Swiss cheese. Yes, answered father. This is probably the most important lesson of your childhood. Hurtful words, hurtful deeds and actions can be forgiven, but the bruises and the holes remain. This picture of Black Madonna in front of you can be compared to that proverbial fence. It's beautiful. It serves its purpose, but it is not perfect. It is full of bruises. It has three big scars on her cheek. It has a hole in the neck. Black Madonna, Our Lady of Częstochowa, is one of those imperfect images of Mary, the mother of Jesus. In front of our church, we have a new beautiful statue of Our Lady from Lourdes. The statue that was founded by the Sodality is so perfect. She is young, she is good looking, there is not a single scar or wrinkle on her face. And it's true. Mary is the prettiest, the most beautiful, at least spiritually, of all women. But this icon is also very true. Mary was a mother. She was a human 
mother like so many of you. And so her life had to be full of bruises, full of wounds. She was hurt, probably not once and not twice, by her husband, and I dare to guess even by baby Jesus, for he couldn't be perfect from day one, unlike yourself truly. But, as you know from the stories in our bulletin, many artists have attempted to fix this icon. People tried over centuries to cover the bruises and the scars on her face. But for some reason, time after time, the icon of Black Madonna reappears with those scars. These bruises keep resurfacing over and over again. Finally, in the 18th century, they gave up. What's the point of trying to fix it? If Mary chooses to stay bruised, if she chooses to stay wounded. For us Poles, this icon of Black Madonna is a realistic, painful, but also uplifting reminder of our history and destiny. The history of Poland is full of bruises, broken bones, broken dreams. But like this icon, Poland has re-emerged from every occupation, from every broken stage of history with new strength, with new optimism. But it is also a powerful reminder, an example to us on personal level. So many times our hearts, our souls are like that fence from my story earlier on. So many times our souls are like this image of Black Madonna, beautiful but tired, bruised and imperfect. One of the most honest confessions any human being can make is that he or she has been wounded. None of us can come here and say, my life has been perfect. I have never been broken. I have never been wounded. We have been broken. We have been wounded, physically, emotionally, and also spiritually. And many times we try to cover up these wounds. We try to use makeup to cover up our scars, our bruises. But as we come here in front of this image of Black Madonna, I want us to be proud of our wounds. I want us to take pride in the bruises we carry in our hearts and our souls, for they are witnesses to our capacity to heal, to overcome all these hurtful experiences in our lives. And if by any chance, and I know most of you don't do that, but if by any chance you wound sometimes some other people, remember that every wound you cause, that every bruise you add to someone's heart can be forgiven, but the wound and the hole will remain. Let us learn from this young man to control our words, to control our actions, to avoid any chances of bruising and wounding our sisters and brothers. And let us take courage. Let us learn from this image, from the story of Black Madonna, that even those holes, even those wounds and bruises can make us stronger, they can make us beautiful in God's eyes.